given the nature of most anime, it is not often that one stumbles upon some cool math formulas or math questions. So whenever I came across such rare nuggets, I consider it a public and sacred duty to preserve this for the next generation to marvel at. And since I ran a math YouTube channel, there's no best way than to create a dedicated video for them and hopefully pass on some math knowledge in an entertaining and memorable manner. Today, we are going to look at a math problem posed by Makata Shiki from the anime Subete ga F ni Naru, or more commonly known as The Perfect Insider, which was an interesting anime series of the mystery genre. So, in the very first episode, the main character, Makata Shiki, claimed that 7 is special, since it is the only lonely number out there. You might very well ask, why did she make this claim? Well, Makata posed an interesting question, which goes as follows. If you try dividing the numbers from 1 to 10 into two groups, and multiply the numbers within each group, can the product ever be equal? She then says that one group of a number contains 7, while the other group doesn't. So it is impossible for the product of each group to be equal. And hence, 7 is seen as the loneliest number out of the first 10 numbers. At first glance, it looks like her argument makes sense, but there's a minor math theorem which was implicitly assumed. See, Magata claimed that no matter how we group the numbers, one group always contains 7, and so the product of another group can never be divided by 7. If you give it a little thought though, this doesn't seem to be true. If we replace 7 with let's say 4, there's only one 4 among the numbers 1 to 10. So one group of a number contains 4, but the product of all numbers in another group can be divisible by 4, unlike our case with the 7 above. So, why does Magata's argument hold when the number is 7 instead of 4? For this, we need to look at the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Before that, let me briefly tell you about prime numbers. A prime number is a number which can only be divided by 1 and itself but no other numbers. As an example, 31 is prime because it has no other factors other than 1 and 31. But 21 is not prime because it is divisible by 3 and 7 as well. The fundamental theorem of arithmetic just says that each and every number can be written uniquely as a product of prime numbers. Essentially, it says that given a number, we can keep dividing out factors until we get the basic building blocks which are the prime numbers. And the claim of uniqueness means that there's only one possible way this can be done. We cannot have multiple ways to express an integer as a product of prime numbers. Here, we call rearrangements as the same representation. So while you can express 21 as 3 times 7 or 7 times 3, you cannot have another representation where 21 equals 5 times 11, for example. We can now go back to Magata's question earlier. If we split the numbers from 1 to 10 into two groups, then, as she claims, indeed, one of the group must contain a 7. If the product of both groups of numbers are the same, then by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, due to the uniqueness of prime factorization, the prime number decomposition of another group must also contain a 7. However, among the numbers from 1 to 10, there is only one number which has prime factor 7 which is 7 itself, but it's already assigned to the first group, leaving no more factors available for the second group. Therefore, there's no way for the product of both groups to be the same. And yes, Makata's argument is indeed correct. Okay, we have come to the end of the video. Do leave a comment if you know there are some other animes which make references to math formulas or contain math questions. Give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed the content and feel free to subscribe to the channel for more. I will see you in the next video, and until then, bye.